What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Uh, today I've got one from Severn Films, one of my favorite labels. Uh, this one is called Dark Waters. Um, it's a 90s Italian horror movie. It came out on DVD from York Entertainment back in the day, and York was kind of like a, you know, bargain basement brand. I don't know how, like, Anchor Bay or Media Blasters, uh, which was they put out Shriek Show, how they didn't get a hold of it, but at the time I think just a lot of people overlooked it because it had shitty cover art. Um, it was put out by York. But uh, now we're coming out from Severn, I think people will really take another look at it. I think it's a pretty solid movie. It's definitely super nuts. Um, this is about a young girl who, after her father dies, she finds out that she's that he's left her everything, but that she has to continue to make these payments to this convent. And she doesn't understand why he's given money to the convent, and she wants to find out what's going on. So she goes there, and it turns out that the convent is, of course, a creepy old place. It's out on some remote, isolated island. So she goes there after having trouble finding a boat guy and watching a feral, like, homeless guy <laughs> feast on some weird meat. But anyway, she makes it to the island. The nuns are, like, not super welcoming, but they allow her to kind of, like, explore and figure shit out. And the rest of the movie is just kind of her trying to piece together not only why was her dad involved, but what's her own personal connection to this convent. And it's it's really good. The story is fine. It's got a lot of... Uh, plot holes but it's a very creative movie and so I really don't think it's that big of a deal that it has plot holes this is a very stylish movie the visuals are very like Italian horror great kind of things like you can tell they were inspired by like Bava and Argento but it doesn't feel like a ripoff and it's definitely didn't have the budget or the polish to live up to that but it's definitely it's definitely well made and it has really good atmosphere and really stylish visuals um, it doesn't have any nudity it has some blood but most of the blood is toward the end of the movie um the final scenes to me are probably the movie's best because you have kind of this and i'm not going to say that it's slow because i don't think that it's slow but it has a very gradual build like the craziness just like stair steps and there's a lot of like loose threads that all kind of like slam together right at the end and these final scenes are just absolutely batshit crazy um, you just you have to see it to believe it. I don't want to spoil it. Normally I don't care and I talk about stuff like that. But in this case, because this is a movie that not a lot of people have seen, uh, you should check it out. It's if you like Italian horror, um, non exploitation, uh, just weird ass horror movies, atmospheric like chilling, haunting kind of movies. This is definitely one. Um, it's a shame that it got overlooked for so long, and I think it honestly did get overlooked because it was on York, and York was just such a shitty label. Like, they had hardly any good movies, and this one was kind of just buried in their catalog. Um, the Blu-ray's from Severn Films, and they definitely give it the attention it deserves. The transfer looks amazing. It looks really, really good. Uh, it's, not a, it's not an old, old movie, so it's in pretty good shape. It's low budget, but it doesn't really show. It just looks like, you know, it's just a great-looking transfer. Extras, it's got a commentary, tons of behind-the-scenes, tons of interviews. Um, I think the case is over four hours of extras, so if you include the commentary in that, it's even then it's it's a lot of stuff. Um, it's and it's under twenty bucks. You can get it at Amazon or SevernFilms.com, uh, wherever you get your movies from. You can more than likely get this one. So again, that is Dark Waters. This is the 1994 movie, which is put out on Blu-ray by Seven Films. There are a lot of other movies called Dark Waters, so make sure if this is the one you want, that you you know make sure you get the one from 1994 Seven Films. Um, that's my review, man. I really like this movie. I thought it was really cool. The ending is so just super fucked up and super awesome. It's got tons of like blasphemous uh, heresy, <laughs> like just religious iconography, like crucified nuns, uh, bloodletting, just all kinds of ritualistic stuff. I love that religious nonsense. So I really like the movie. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video, and hopefully I have another one for you up soon. Thanks, guys.